The Research Abstract An abstract is a short summary or descriptive paragraph overviewing your entire paper, whether it is a thesis, dissertation, or a research paper. Abstracts are typically written to enable the reader to determine or decide early on if they want to read the report in its entirety. Abstracts are quite limited in length, often about 200 words, and thus must be very concise, clear statements that convey a few key ideas. The strict word limit can play from 100 to 300 words, so make sure to check the relevant paragraphs. Additionally, one must utilize the active voice and present or past tense while avoiding passive voice and future tense is also key. Although the structure may vary slightly depending on your discipline, the abstract concisely provides the aims or purpose of your work. Describes the methods you've used. Reports outcomes of your research. And gives the conclusions you've drawn so that readers know exactly what your paper is about. You will almost always have to include an abstract when completing a thesis or dissertation, submitting a research paper to an academic journal, writing a book or research proposal, or applying for research grants. One common way to structure your abstract is to use the MRAD structure. This stands for Introduction Methods Results and Discussion In the introduction, start by clearly defining the purpose of your research. What practical or theoretical problem does the research respond to, or what research question did you aim to answer? You can include some brief context on the social or academic relevance of your dissertation topic, but don't go into detailed background information. And, give a concise definition of specialized terms that would be unfamiliar to the average academic reader or that have various different meanings. After identifying the problem, state the objective of your research. Use verbs like investigate, test, analyze, or evaluate to describe exactly what you set out to do. This part of the abstract can be written in the present or past simple tense, but should never refer to the future as the research is already complete. Let's have an example. Here are two introductory statements. Please take note that on the first statement, the verb used will investigate refers to the future. This is not allowed. In the second statement, the verb used investigates is in present tense. Thus, this is correct. Next, indicate the research methods that you use to answer your question. This part should be a straightforward description of what you did in one or two sentences. It is usually written in the past simple tense, as it refers to completed actions. Here are some examples. Take note that on the first statement, the verb used, will be conducted, refers to the future, so, this is not allowed. In the second statement, the verb used, 
were conducted, is in past tense, this is the correct statement. Next part, summarize the main research results. Depending on how long, and complex your research is, you may not be able to include all results here. Try to highlight, only the most important findings, that will allow the reader to understand your conclusions. This part of the abstract, can be in the present, or past simple tense. Example. From the first statement, the verb used, had shown, is in past perfect, this is not correct. While, in the second statement, the verb used, showed, is in past tense, this is the correct statement. Finally, you should discuss the main conclusions of your research. Which is what is your answer is, to the problem, or question. The reader should finish with a clear understanding of the central point, that your research has proved or argued. Conclusions, are usually written in the present simple tense. Example, in the first statement, the verb used, concluded, is in past tense, this is not correct. In the second statement, the verb used, concludes, is in present tense, this is the correct statement. Here are some sample abstract, which shows the IMRAD structure. This is the introduction. Here is the methods. This is the results. And, here is the discussion. Another sample abstract, which shows the IMRAD structure. The introduction. The methods. The results. And, the discussion. The abstract, and executive summary, how are they different? The main differences between an abstract, and an executive summary, are length, audience, purpose, and content. An abstract, is shorter than an executive summary, and should fit on one page. While an executive summary, can be up to two pages long, and provide more details. An abstract, is written for reviewers, who are experts in the field. While an executive summary, is written for decision makers, and stakeholders. The purpose of an abstract, is to inform, and intrigue the reviewers, to read the full proposal. While the purpose of an executive summary, is to persuade, and impress the decision makers, and stakeholders. An abstract, should include the main problem, objectives, methods, results, and implications of a project. While an executive summary, should include the main points, outcomes, budget, timeline, and qualifications of a team.